Hola, mi amigos, ¿cómo está usted? Uh, yo estoy, I'm not sure if that was right. Jay from Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, um, coming to you with a quick tip for the day. I'm fishing on Lake of the Ozarks. It's a beautiful day today. Um, however, I don't have a tournament at Lake of the Ozarks until like March, April, but I, but I live here. Um, I do, however, have a trip to Texas and a tournament on Amistad coming up uh, just in a few weeks uh, and then a tournament a little bit after that. So in my head I'm getting ready for Amistad even though I'm here at Lake of the Ozarks. You know, Jimmy Buffett talks about changes in attitude, changes in latitude. Um, that's my tip of the day. I'm here at Lake of the Ozarks fishing the structure. You can see the, the back behind me, uh, some docks and some rocks and stuff like that. <clears throat> But in my head, I'm, and I'm getting ready for Amistad, so what I'm doing is I'm throwing baits that my, my map study and my research have told me I might throw when I get to Amistad. Um, I'm tying on big crank baits, big swim baits. I'm fishing swim baits through some brush, and I'm, but I'm thinking about, you know, um, uh, mesquite and uh, buck brush and that kind of stuff at Amistad. Um, I'm thinking about some soft plastics, but I'm thinking about how I might fish them you know, in Pecos Flats or maybe in some, you know, some of the dead grass um, farther up the river, um, up the Rio Grande there at Amistad. Um, there's my tip. Uh, some of my tournaments are thousands of miles away, and I could drive, 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 drive fish for a couple days, turn around, drive, 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 drive and come back. Um, but sometimes I just might be able to pre-fish Amistad right where I am. That could be true for you. If you're planning a vacation or you've got some tournaments coming up or you know you're going to be somewhere and you've done some research and you think it's going to be a, you know, a big on, a full on buzzbait bite or it's going to be a full on, you know, suspending jerkbait thing. Um, on the lake where you are, practice those things. Get your line, your rod, your reel combo um, all put together. Try those baits, fish those baits. How do they feel? How do they feel from your boat? Maybe you want a shorter rod for this or a longer rod for that. Anyway, that's my tip for the day. Uh, use your imagination to help you get ready for what's going on uh, in your reality. Uh, another quick thing, I've had some great comments um, online. Um, some of my point of view videos I've taken uh, just in the last few uh, weeks. I've been using these, these point of view glasses. There's actually a camera right in there. These are from iView. You can get these at gravefishing.com. Um, they're changing the way I'm pre-fishing for tournaments. They're changing the way I pre-fish. I, I run the video camera 24-7. That's not really true. I run the video camera almost all the time when I'm out fishing, um, and I really do review. Uh, it's fun to see, you know, that dot caught a fish, or I fished that too fast, or, or, or wow, this is something I saw that I didn't see in real life, um, and I can find it on the camera. Uh, you can get these camera, these glasses, I view camera glasses, two different styles, at greatfishing.com. Um, otherwise, hope you're catching great fish, and I'll talk to you real soon.